Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a list box on your main menu showing you your favorite customers. So if you've got three or four customers, or ten, that you always contact on a regular basis, they're right there on your main menu. Just double click and boom, it'll open up the customer record. Today's question comes from Katrina from Barcelona, Spain, a gold member. Katrina says, I've got five to ten customers I contact on a regular basis, some daily. Is there a way I can make a list of my favorite customers and have a quick way to open their accounts from my main menu? Well, of course, Katrina, all you have to do is indicate which customers you want on your favorites list with a field in the customer table, for example. Then we'll make a list box and put that on your main menu. Then with a double click event, we can open up the customer form. Let me show you how to do it. Okay, here I am inside my Tech Help free template. This is a free download off my website if you want to grab a copy. I'll put a link down below. In this database, I got my customer list and I can double click on any one of these guys and that opens up the customer record. What I'd like to do is make another field like the is active field that says this is a favorite customer. All right, so let's close this, close this. Let's go back to my customer table, design view. I'll come down to the end here. I got is active. Let's make is favorite. We'll make that a yes or no. And I'll set the default value to no. Now let's close this up. And let's put that field in here in the customer's form somewhere. Let's, uh, let's just slide notes down a little bit like that. And I'll put is active over here. And let's go to my design. Add existing fields. Let's grab is favorite. Slide it right there. Maybe a little format. Let's make this guy format. Let's make it, uh, let's go blue. And bold. All right, so that's a favorite. Save it. Close it. Open it back up again. All right, now I can indicate who my favorites are by just checking that box. Favorite, and let's go... Jean-Luc Picard. So me and Jean-Luc Picard are favorites. If you want, you could even add them to the customer list. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a list box right here that only shows the favorite customers. So before I do that, let's make a query that shows the favorite customers. So go create, query design, bring in customers. Now what do you want to see in that box? Well, I want to see, let's see, the, the ID, of course, that's how we know which customer to open. Let's go last name, then first name. And I'm going to sort them last name, first name. And then let's go is favorite. And we'll make that criteria true or yes, either one. Save it. Customer favorite Q. I try to keep everything singular in my database. That way I don't go crazy. Is it customer or customers? Was it favorite or favorites? I just keep everything singular. That way I don't have to think about it. <laughs> okay. Customer favorite queue. There we go. Now I have enough to make my list box, right? I can come in here, right click, design view. Let's find list boxes up here somewhere right there. There's a list box. Drop it down there. If you've never done any list boxes before, I got videos on list boxes. Go watch those. List boxes are almost identical to combo boxes. The difference is list boxes are always open, and combo boxes, you can sometimes type values into them. So that's the only major difference. Aside from that, they function almost exactly the same. So I want the list box to get the values from a table or query. Queries, my customer favorite queue. All right, next. Now bring over the ID first. That's how we know which customer to open. We'll use that in a minute. I'm going to go last name, then first name. We don't need to bring his favorite in. That's just for in the query to do the filtering of the limitations. Now, you can resort in here if you want. Not a bad idea. Uh, any filtering that you, or any sorting that you put on in the list box wizard will override the query. So we really didn't need to sort the query, but that's okay. Last name, then first name, and then next. How do you want it to look? Now, since we based our results on a query, we can't automatically hide that customer ID, but all we have to do is make its width zero. Just do that. Real easy, right? Make these as wide as you think they need to be. Next. Now, what's the bound field? What field has the value that we're interested in? I only want to see first name and last name. I'm interested in that customer ID. That's how I'm going to know which customer to open. What label would you like for it? Ah, it doesn't matter. We're going to delete it anyways. There it is right there. Goodbye. 
All right, so here's my list of favorite customers. Let's give it a splash of color. Let's make it, I don't know, let's go that, okay? All right, save it, close it, open it back up again. There you go. There's your favorite color customers. Favorite colors, I almost said. Favorite customers. All right, so now I can click on them. Well, that doesn't do me much good. If you want to, by the way, if, if you just call people on a regular basis, you could add phone number in here too. I didn't think of that. If, it's, if, it's, if you just want to have this list of handy-dandy phone numbers to call. But I want to make it so when I double-click on one of these guys, it opens up the customer record. So let's set up an on-double-click event on this list box. Now, if you've never done a double-click event before, I got videos on it, of course. Go watch that. In fact, go watch my Intro to VBA class if you've never done any VBA programming before. It's real simple. It's nice and easy. I'll put a link to that down below, too. In fact, I just earlier this week made another video of the on double click event. So go watch that. All right. So design view, open this guy up properties wise, go to all. Let's call this customer favorite list. All right. Event on double click right here. Dot, dot, dot. Pick code builder if you're prompted. Do command open form customer F comma, comma, comma where the customer ID equals customer favorite list. Save it. And now the results. Double click on me. Boom. Double click on Jean-Luc. Boom. There you go. I'll show you one more little bonus thing. If you double click on one of these guys to open this up, let's say I make me not a favorite now. If I come back over here, all right, this guy isn't updating unless you close the form and then reopen it again. And same thing if you add a record. So you might want a little refresh down here or simply a refresh when you double click on one of these guys. Either way, I'll put a little refresh button down here. All right, we'll make it a link. We'll make it like a little label. We'll take this guy here, put a little link right there. That'll say re and we'll just go format we'll make it so we can actually see it maybe like a light gray there you go slide it right there and then go to all all right and then we'll call this guy requery customer favorite list or or a shorter name if you prefer <laughs> right this guy will have an event on click and it's going to be customer favorite list dot requery. It's a requery something. Requery says go out to the table and refresh your information with the new data that might have been entered. So there's a little bonus for you. All right, close that. Open it up again. All right, you can hit requery. Nothing seems to happen. But let's go to the customer form. I'll add myself back in as a favorite, and then I'll come back over here and add Deanna in. Now I can requery that list. See that? All right, there you go. That's how you set up a little favorites list. Now you can double click, open someone up, and keep the you know the five or six customers that you contact on a regular basis there. Want to learn more about setting up a favorite customers list? Well, in the extended cut for members, we're going to expand on this. We're going to add most recent and most viewed. So every time you open up a customer, it'll increment a counter so you can track the most viewed customers and it will set your most recent viewed date. This way you can refilter this list and say, show me my favorites or show me the most recently viewed customers or show me the top 10 most viewed customers. We'll make it top 10 because if you've got thousands of customers, you don't want that list being gigantic, right? When you really only care about the most recent or the most viewed customers. Then I'll show you how to requery that list box automatically when you come back to it. So if you open someone up and it opens up the customer form, as soon as you close the customer form and come back to the main menu, it'll requery that list box for you. And that's called, uh, <laughs> that's all, <laughs> I can't talk today. That's all covered in the extended cut for members, silver members and up, get access to all of my previous extended cut videos as well. And gold members can download a copy of that database from my website. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. 
Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full-length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP, and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my Tech Help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free Access Beginner Level 1 course, more of my Tech Help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.